Hey guys, it's John. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, haven't made a video in a little while. I've been really busy at work. So I decided I would take some time Sunday morning and I'm going to uh, do a nice shave and uh, make a video. I have some products that you might want to be interested in. So let's get started. So my soap today is going to be by West Coast Shaving and it's number one Gatsby. And if you haven't used it, it's definitely a lather beast. It's an excellent soap. Um, it's uh, made with a ginger, citrus, pepper, vetiver, mint, and then like the base notes are cedar, amber, and musk. So it's really manly. Uh, it reminds you supposedly of the 1920s and being in, uh, you know, in speakeasies and stuff like that. So, of course, I'm not even old enough to be in a speakeasy, but, you know, it looks like it's, it smells just like I guess it should be. Um, my razor today is this really nice King Cobra, and it's a SE, and I won it in a Shave Gear raffle for eight bucks. So, I borrowed some blades from a friend of mine, Tim Zub, and these are Captain Titan Mild blades. So, I'm going to... Uh, Give it a shave. I mean, they say it's a really good razor, so hopefully we'll get an excellent shave out of it. Um, my brush today, which is soaking, I'm just going to shake it out a little, is my a C2 uh, SMG brush, which is made by Chip van der Gott, and uh, I asked them to make this brush for me. So I'm just going to take some of the bloom water. Uh, if you guys all know, I, I'm a big advocate of blooming. Uh, I want to bring out some of the essential oils to the surface so I can smell the true scent of the soap. I, um, just me personally, I think that, you know, if you don't, if you don't put some water or bloom it and you, you put your brush into a dry soap, you know, uh, it just doesn't work as well for me. So, Everybody's got their own thing. You know, that mileage may vary, Gadget. Let me grab my towel. So, uh, hope everyone has been well. And uh, what I'm going to do is load, load, load. I heard this is a... Uh, the West Coast Shaving Soaps are big, big on lather. They even mention on their website when you buy their soaps that they recommend you use a large knot. 24, 26, 28... Um, because they hold, look at this, uh, it's just fantastic. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna load a little bit more, which is, that's, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna be so much, and then I'm just gonna clean off the edges of the soap tub so that I get that all cleaned off. There we go. And, uh, let me wipe my hands off again. You know how important it is to have a dry hand when you're shaving with whatever razor you're using and uh, your brush. You don't want your brush to slip out of your hand. So there's so many different techniques for uh, putting your lather on that guys do. They do this, which is the painting method, where they paint it on after they've built the lather, maybe in a bowl. Um, or they're maybe they're really hydrated already. Then there's the circle method, which I like the best because it exfoliates my skin where the hair is laying in the opposite direction. So it pushes the hair up, which makes it easier for me to shave. Um, and then of course, some guys do this figure eight thing. And I never got into that. I look how beautiful the lather is on this. Nice and rich and thick. It's fantastic. I definitely smell the citrus and the ginger, and I get that amber and musk. It's really good. Of course, I'm gonna be using the matching aftershave. It's alcohol-based. So we're gonna do this thing. Now, I also watched some people shave this morning on YouTube, and they do a one-pass shave, but they buffer about 400 times to get that one pass done. I prefer to do at least two passes and do a lot less buffering. 
I believe that the blade and the weight of the blade and the proper angle is going to do all the work. Very nice. I definitely can feel and hear the uh, feedback. Well, one thing that you'll notice when you're using this particular razor or any other razor that has these really wide blades is that it covers much more of your skin. So you would have to do a lot less buffering, in my opinion. Very nice. I'm going to switch hands and just move the stash. Very good. So I'm always really careful. I'm growing out my mustache and I don't want it to uh, get away from me. All it takes is one swipe by accident and boom, you're done. I'm going to Texas in October and New Orleans as well. And uh, I'm going to be staying at a dude ranch for this awesome wedding. And I want to make sure that I got a really cool mustache. <laughs> so now my second pass, I've already, that first pass... I've already knocked down my beard. So the majority of the hair is gone. So let's do this. I only really, this is so wide. I really don't need to do too many passes. Very nice. I do like this. They say the balance and the handle is really, the knurling on the handle is very good. No slippage at all. So, check this out. Uh, if you have not seen Matt Pisarczyk's, uh he just did a new video on YouTube through Razor Emporium, which is a how to map your face video, it's fantastic. If you're a new shaver and you've never done that, that's what you need to do to verify which direction your hair grows in so you can it use the least effort to get the hair off. This is very reminiscent of a straight razor, actually, the shave. And I know that I had asked on Facebook which uh, blades to use with this, and everybody recommended start off with a mild blade. And I absolutely agree, because this is... Wow, this is really nice. And this is with a mild blade. And you know I'm a straight razor guy, so um, if I used a single edge and bought a blade that's a little more aggressive, I would feel even more comfortable. I'm actually very comfortable using this one. So now I'm going to do a third pass for a cleanup. I don't have to do any more exfoliating because I've already completely knocked down almost all the hair. All I have left is stragglers, actually. And uh, this is really nice. So Chip's brush that he made for me is a C2. It's a very big, long handle, so it definitely works great in your hand. Um, it's got a two-band finest knot in it, which two bands are my favorite. And then the soap, the Gatsby soap, it just smells really, really nice. It's excellent. It's an excellent soap. And, you know, it definitely builds a nice lather, as you could see. I'm just going to wash my hands off so that you guys, uh, you know, even though there's a huge amount of knurling on that handle from the uh, King Cobra, I definitely um, 
I would I would recommend washing your hands and drying them. I keep a towel either around my sink area or uh, when I'm straight razor shaving and you know over here. Look, there's, there's like nothing left under my chin here. This is absolutely great. I do, I do enjoy this. I see I got a one weeper on my, on my neck down here, which is a no brainer. You know, anybody that's a wet shaver knows you're gonna get a weeper once in a while. Always kind of stretch. You know, I like to, even with my single edge or DEs, I like to stretch. And now I'm going to go against the grain, which is up on my cheeks. Um, so what I would do is I would go against. And then I'm going to just do a quick across. There you go. That's pretty simple. You know, just a little clean up, just in case you didn't get around the sideburns. And you see, I, I'm not buffering really. I'm doing like one pass up or two passes to get up my, and then I'm just stretching out my skin to do a nice close one. And there it is, that's a three pass, fantastic shave. Let me wipe off. And yeah, I got one weeper, that's it which, you know, I have no issues with, and uh, it's a no-brainer, one, one little weeper. So I, I would use this razor for a quick one or two pass shave every morning. It seems like it will work well, absolutely. I love the weight of it, and it's the uh, King Cobra, and uh, it's a very nice razor, and inside it, I used these mild Titan Milds, so if you're interested, I will put links below where to find all this stuff, of course. Um, Chip, I don't even know if Chip is making brushes anymore, but uh, um, he's on Facebook, I believe. So that's where you would get in touch with Chip. I'm going to uh, shake up my aftershave and put a little bit on. And I've uh, done away with these rubbing and I just uh, pat now. I find this works just as well. Very nice. Oh, the smell of the aftershave is stronger than the soap, of course, so you get that mint and the vetiver. All of that comes out really nice. I can't wait for the dry down of the uh, aftershave so I could see how long it lasts, you know? I mean, from what I understand, these are really, really good products. Um, I'll put the link down to West Coast Shaving so you can pick that up as well. And uh, don't forget to uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have a great day. And, you know, more importantly, guys, have an amazing shave. You have any questions? You have any comments? Leave them below. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care, my friends.